Hello YouTube, this is Dion. I am back again. I wanted to show you the inside of my travel makeup case. My personal use, I do not use... I'm sorry, I do use makeup. I do not do makeup on other people unless they specifically ask me to. I am not a professional makeup artist. I am not aspiring to be. This is what I carry with me when I travel and it stays packed with everything that's in here. Minus eye primer and face primer. I keep the samples that I receive from Sephora in my toiletry bag, so that's always there. The only other thing that's never in here is foundation and concealer because I use those on a regular basis and I do not want to spend the money just to have a duplicate just for this bag because I do not travel that often where I need you know, to spend another $40 plus just for a concealer to keep in here. So let's just jump into it. As I take things out, I'll just say what they are. This is a travel size shampoo that I use to wash my makeup brushes. Any shampoo will do. This one is Suave Moisturizing Shampoo. This is the number 50.5 Mini Flawless Powder Brush. It's just one, one of the Sephora collection brushes. And I like it because it comes in its own case. And actually, I do like really, really like this brush. Um, aside from it being really soft and doing what it's supposed to do for me, it's easy to travel with, as you can see. Just snap it in this case. You can toss it anywhere. It will not get messed up or dirty. I have the number 53. This one I use for foundation. Again, it comes in its own case, which I love. Sometimes, because it takes two days to dry, I have two of them. Love these. What other brushes do I have in here? I have a Real Techniques powder brush, and I just kept it in the packaging that it came in. This I'll use for all over powder, sometimes blush bronze or whatever. I do multi-use my brushes, or I should say multi-purpose my brushes. Sorry for all the noise back here. This is a Makeup Forever, make, Makeup Forever brush case, and this is what came in it. One side for your blush, and the other side for contour or powder. That actually came in here, had a, oh my gosh, I can't even remember how many years it's been since I had that brush. Also in here is the Sephora number 57. It says corrector. I use this for under eye concealer. If I don't want to use my fingers for primer, I will use this and blend out my primer. Uh, sometimes I use it for shadow, just whatever I feel like using it for at that moment. Another brush, this one I don't use that often. This one is a Sephora. Pro Mini Airbrush number 55.5. I like that it does come with a, a sleeve and it's kind of a hard plastic one so it will help keep your bristles from you know getting bent out of shape but it's so small I don't use it that often but when I do I'll use it for highlight which I don't do often or I'll just use it for cheek contour because my cheeks are way too puffy and chubby for this little tiny brush <laughs> but I do like it I just don't use it that often it is very very soft Another brush in here, this is the same as this one. Um, when I went back to get a, another one, they didn't have the silver handles anymore. So this is the newer one. Do not remember how long I had this brush. And the same thing for under eye concealer, eye primer, eyeshadow. This is a Sephora brush number 206. You have a flat shader, a wide one. And you have a smaller detailed end. Two more brushes in here. This is a Mali brush, also double-ended. You have a shader and you have a smaller side for detail, or you can use the smaller side for, oh, look at my forever bags. Or you can use the smaller side for um, detailing your outer V, or, well, and underneath your lower lash line. The last one in here is my Tarte brush. This came with the came with the Tarte Emphasize Waterproof Amazon Clay Brow Mousse. And I'm doing this because I don't have my reading glasses on and I have my contacts in. So this came with this. This I do for my brows, which you can tell I did not do them today. <laughs> One side is a spoolie, so I'll use them to brush my brows over. And then I'll dip this end into the product and put a tail on my brows. I did purposely over pluck my brows to the same shape, because one came down this way and one went this way. So when I would do my natural brow shape, it just did not look right. So I overplucked to the same area so I can at least make the tail look the same. So yes, I did overpluck on purpose. 
So those are the brushes. I'm gonna leave those out and put them away later. I've already showed you the Tarte Emphasize Brow Powder, Brow Mousse, excuse me. The Tarte Tartise um, Double, what is it called? Double Take Eyeliner. I like this because it's easy to carry because one side is a felt tip liner that I use for my upper lash line and the other one is a pencil that I use for my upper and lower waterline. So that's why I like this because it's like a two in one. And it came in a set with three colors, the black, the brown, and I think it was like a gray, but the gray did not even show up on me. So I think I actually threw that one away. Those always stay in here. Mascara travel size or um, sometimes for Sephora, you can get them for 100 point rewards. And so I will get them and then I'll just keep them in here. And it's a good way also to try new mascaras without paying for a full size. The other things in here, this is in no particular order. I'm just emptying pockets as I go, trying to do it quickly. Marc Jacobs, I will put the information down below. I cannot read what it says, but you know what? I have my reading glasses. So hopefully I can read it because the print is extremely small. Yeah, no. This one is Make Me Enamored. It's like a lavender. This one is... No, this one is Make Me Enamored. Do they both say the same thing? I guess the gloss line is Make Me Enamored, and they're different numbers. So I will put the numbers down below. This one, it does look orange, right? Or like a peachy orange, pinky orange. And this one looks lavender, but on me, they both look nude. <laughs> so I keep them in here because I can wear them with whatever eyeshadow look I do, or if I don't do eyeshadow look at all. Um, let's see. Scandinavia, they have a, a makeup primer spray and a makeup finishing spray. If I don't want to use my hands to put on primer, I will spray the primer all over. And for me, it works as well as a face primer. So I'll spray this on, do my makeup, and when I finish my makeup, I'll use the finishing spray. These are travel size. When I purchased the full size, they had a, a, a deal or an offer going on at the same time where you would get travel size included with your full size offer which was awesome because I really do like these sprays and even if I don't use the primer I do still use the finishing spray what else is in here another spray Smashbox photo finish primer water this one I only like to use when I wet my brush for eyeshadow which I don't do often because I'm just lazy I just want to dip my brush in and put it on and have it work for me I'm just being honest don't hate me don't judge me if you do I know some of you are the same way you just want stuff to work you don't want to make it work for you but I do carry this just in case I have a shadow that is giving me problems and I'm like you know what let me just wet the brush but I do not like that as a face primer two not two samples i think it was maybe did i just shake the camera if i did i apologize i think it might have been over christmas nars came out with this thing here and it's very textured i really like it and inside of it was a highlight the fort de france highlighter and their laguna bronzer this is the highlighter which i do like because it's a golden color I, the pinkish or champagneish color bronzer i mean highlighters i really I like the effect, but I don't like the color on me. And this is the Laguna Bronzer, which I really do like. And I liked this set so much, and I thought this was so cute that I purchased the second one, and then I ended up purchasing the full size in the Fort de France highlighter and the Laguna Bronzer. I liked this so much because it's a hard case that I wanted to keep it and not throw it away. So what I have in here is my is a travel size hourglass setting powder. It actually says Vel Translucent Setting Powder. And underneath of that in here, I have a Sephora sponge that I use to apply the powder. And I really like this because I, I do prefer to apply powder with a sponge, well not a sponge, with um, a puff. Because then I can place it exactly where I want it versus a brush and it just goes everywhere. And this allows me to keep um, my puff clean and not powder get everywhere inside my case so that's all the pockets and so let's move on to the more fun stuff this is not fun <laughs> 
these are just Q-tips I always keep in here if I need to clean up my inner corner or my outer corner. Um, I do have allergies, and so sometimes if powder gets in my eyes or something, my eyes might tear, or if I'm using a product for the first time and the fragrance is too strong for me because I'm sensitive to fragrance, my eyes will tear. So the Q-tips in here will allow me to do that. And also for lipstick, if I make, if it's messy, if it comes out messy, I'll use it to clean up, you know, wherever I need to do. Or if your eyeshadow goes out too far, or if you want to make it look winged or something, you can use Q-tips for anything. Honestly, you want to use them for. The last things in here are eyeshadow palettes. These always stay in here. Um, this, this one, Naked Basics 2 from Urban Decay. This one I can do a complete um, eye look with. And it's also great, of course, for me for transition shades, especially um, this color. Which one is that one? Naked 2. This one is an absolutely perfect transition shade for me. So I can put this on for transition. I can use either one of these for highlight. I can put this on the lid and this in the outer corner, or put this in a crease and put this on the lid and do smoky. So this could be just the only one I use, but I do like to use color when I do do eyeshadow, which as you can tell, I did not do today. And what else in here? The Inglot. This is one I made myself with three colors. If I do just want a really nice pop, beautiful. Love these. It comes with a sponge applicator, which I never use, but for some reason, I still keep it in here. Two more Urban Decay palettes. This one is Detour. That I can do a complete look with this because you have your transition, well, for me, transitions and highlights down here. And to add color or define my outer corner or my crease. And then for a pop of color, they have this blue over here. Urban Decay Shortcut, same thing as the Detour, except different colors. <laughs> These I'm not, I don't really have um, a transition color in here. I can use Shortcut, but then it's, it, it looks a little ashy on me. And so then for this one, I would actually end up using the Naked Basics for a transition color. But this I keep in here. So I try to keep neutral colors with a few pops of color in here. This one is the Ace Beauté. Grandiose palette. Why am I covering? There's no mirror. <laughs> and the last thing in here is the Sephora palette. Sephora Spice Market Blush Palette. And so this is always in here as well. This is the last thing that is inside the case. I never, ever, ever use this one. But I guess I could try it as a cheek highlight. All the other shades in here I have used. This one and this one I had to be very careful because they're way too dark for me. So I have to use a really light hand. So that is everything that was in here. So thank you guys for watching. I will list everything below. If you have any questions about anything in here or would like review, just please let me know. Subscribe so that you'll be eligible for future giveaways. When I reach 50 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. Um, and that's about it. So thanks. Bye.